Um, hello everyone, welcome to my first After Effects tutorial, and today I'm going to teach you the most basic way on how to make Thor's lightning, like off the Avengers movies. Pretty much the most simple and basic way. So anyway, let's get started. So as you can see right here, I have my composition, and um, this is me actually in my front yard with my uh, Thor hammer prop. Um, right here. So, now the first thing we need to do is we need to look, we need to find the exact shot where we want the lightning to shoot out of the hammer. So, uh, yeah, right here looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we got, um, our spot where we want to add the lightning shooting out of the hammer, we need to get our lightning effect. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into layer, new, sorry, layer, new, solid, and we're going to go into effect, so it's lightning, and we're going to screen it. Okay? So, the thing is, we need to keyframe to start position, okay? And we're going to move the start position right above the tip of the hammer. And we're going to move the endpoint right above off the screen. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to change some of the settings here to make it look more like an actual lightning beam. So I'm going to go change the amplitude to uh, 6.9. That looks pretty good. We'll make the detail level 8. And we'll make the detail amplitude maybe to 0.48. And I'm going to make the branching 0. And we're going to increase the size of the width. So uh, so that looks pretty good and what you're going to do is you're going to have to go frame by frame which you go page down is going forward and page up is going backwards so you're just going to move the start position um, to wherever the hammer is going on the frame so I'm going to pause uh, uh, my recording program so I can finish keyframing my lightning and we'll get right back to it. Okay. Okay, so now I just finished uh, keyframing the lightning. And it's, uh, it's not perfect, but this is a tutorial, so I do have to make this quick. So anyway, this is going to have to do. So the next step, what we need to do is we need to generate the energy that's being released from Thor's hammer. And uh, I have a click of the uh, Avengers trailer here of Thor. And when you look at it, this is pretty much, I could say, is a lens flare. And this is pretty much the energy that's being released from Thor's hammer. So what we need to do is we need to add that same element into the clip itself. So let's get on it. Now, what I'm about to use is is a plugin from uh, Video Copilot, and it's called uh, Optical Flares. Now, I really suggest that you have this preset um, because it it's much better to use and it's easier, and you don't have to work on editing the flare to make it so close to the movie. Like this thing has so many options, you could find the right one. And if not, it's pretty much easier to make your own presets with optical flares than taking an actual lens flare itself and converting it. But anyways, so let's go into optical flares now. So we're going to go to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares, and we're going to go into the Options. So before we choose our optical flare, we need to look at the Avengers clip again. So... If you look right here, we have Thor's energy, which is this great big blue light that's being released from the hammer. And 
we can see the elements here. So we have this sort of light reflection that's pretty much shooting across the light from here to here. So we need to find a preset that's really close to what Thor is using. So we go into light and if we go into beam, this is pretty much the same element. So I'm going to use beam. Let's see how beam looks. So we're going to take that and click OK. And then we're going to screen it. And we're going to plug that onto the hammer. And um, we're going to increase the scale probably to... Uh, yeah, this is pretty much good to 670. Yeah. So, yeah, this this flare will work, actually. It's perfect. We got the element of reflection. So, yes. So now what I need to do is now is keyframe the flare onto the hammer. So I'm just going to pause the video, do that, and I'll get right back to the tutorial. Okay, so I just finished keyframing my optical flare here. And as we can see, it's dead on perfect with the hammer. So now, we need to give it a flickering effect. So we're going to go into our flicker option, which is here, and we're going to make the speed into 100. We're going to make the amount into 100, and make sure that the mode is in sharp. Okay? So now, if we look at the footage here, the flare is flickering. That looks pretty good. Okay. Our next step is to add um, a dark sky in the background, like dark clouds. Now, sky replacement takes a long time to do, so I'm going to do it the extremely quick way and the lazy way. So I don't really suggest you do it this way, but since it's a tutorial on Thor's lightning, it should be more focused on the lightning itself. So I'll make a tutorial on sky replacement sometime in the future, but you can always visit uh, videocopilot.net to um, see really amazing tutorials and sky replacement. But anyways, so uh, I have this dark sky photo from Video Copilot, which Andrew Kramer uh, took a long time ago. So I'm just going to drag this dark sky right behind my footage. And I am going to use my track mat, and I'm going to do Luma Mat. And now, as you can see here, the uh, the sky is replaced by dark clouds in the back here. So, um, but we need it to appear right when the lightning is shot out of the hammer. So, right about there. So, I am going to move my mask right here, and I'm going to go into the transfer mode and make the opacity to zero. I'm going to keyframe that. And then I'm going to move to right about here. Yeah, that should be good. And we're going to make it into uh, 100. So now since I track mat the sky into my bottom footage, we need to add the same clip to make up for masking the Alex's Thor composition. So a quick way to do it is is to um, actually duplicate your clip and make it so that It shows up right when you make the opacity. Uh, let's see, the opacity is on the hundred here. So I would, yeah, and I'll put. No, actually, keep it right. Yeah, right when the lightning comes, because then you have a chance to see. Move it until 
you know, so here you are. So now you can see the footage of the dark clouds behind me. And all I simply did was I just duplicated um, the two compositions. So since I track matted Alex's store my first composition, this one makes up um, I'm losing it because I have you have to turn the uh, the eye off on this thing because if you turn the clip on, the mask has no effect, so you have to turn this off. So when I made the opacity to zero, the uh, the luma mat disappears, and you can't see the clip. So I duplicated this one to start, and it fits right in right when the opacity. So it's it's pretty good. And now you get to see the clouds change. But the footage is a bit dark, so we're going to go into the Alex's 4 1. We're going to go into, um, already set up the curves. We're going to brighten the footage just a little bit. Just enough to see my face. Yeah, yeah that will do. So I just brighten the footage by using my curves effect. So now. The next thing we need to do is, since we got the sky background now, is to um, basically make our lightning strikes now. So um, we're going to pick a spot, probably over here is pretty good, yeah, right here. And we're going to go to layer and make a new solid, solid 18. And um, click Alt, beginning bracket, Alt, end bracket. This only needs to be one frame. You're going to make your lightning strike. So you need to go into Effect, Generate, Advanced Lightning. And so right now you have your uh, Advanced Lightning. And you just need to strike down, right? So the uh, you're going to open up your um, Glow and your Core Settings. You're going to change the blue, the dark blue glow that you have here, into the color that pretty close to your, uh, pretty close to the blue that I'm using for lighting. So, um, yeah, this is pretty close. Okay, and then you're going to increase your core radius of your lightning to make it a bit bigger. So let's. Yeah. So basically, that's all you need to do for that. So you got your lightning strike, and the next thing you need to do is that you're gonna take, you're gonna go to layers, you're gonna make an adjustment layer, and you're gonna. Go to Alt, first bracket, Alt, second bracket. You're going to make this three frames longer. Yeah, that would do. And you're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, you go to Curves, and you're going to set, you're going to go to the blue, and you're going to add blue. Yeah, right about there. Onto your clip. And then you got to go down to your Transform. Keyframe your opacity. Start it off at 40. That's 40 percent to do. And go all the way to the end and make it zero. So when the lightning comes, you have a blue, pretty much a small, small blue flash in the background to support the lightning effect. So. So that's your first lightning strike. And to continue on, just all you really need to do is is to um, pretty much um, copy your lightning layer and uh, move it about five frames. And um, go over here and uh, choose a different spot where you want it to strike. 
do the meatless up here. Meatless down here. And uh, we can change the, the way how it looks. So, um, that's pretty cool, this one. And, um, and copy and paste your adjustment layer. Or duplicate your adjustment layer, I'm sorry. It's four in the morning, so I'm tired. And yeah, so, you just keep doing the same thing for every five frames. So I'm just gonna do that, because you already know what to do, and then we'll head up to the next step. Okay, so now that we got all the lighting finished, the last and final step that we need to do is, is use a plugin from VideoCopilot.net called Action Essentials 2, and we're going to plug in um, the footage into where the lightning strikes. So here we go. And yeah, right about there. Got to move it a bit. Just to match where the lightning strikes. And what's important about doing this effect is it gives it a much wider range of how the effect should look. So anyways, I'm going to finish off adding in my Action Essentials clips. And then, yeah, then you're pretty much done with the tutorial. So, just remember to make it blend in with the clips and try to put the center of your action essential clips um, of your dirt charge explosion because it tends to look like um, it's coming right off the ground but since the camera's not pointing right on the ground you're pretty much picking up the debris that's being launched up to the ground so yeah that's pretty much all I need to do so we'll fast forward this Okay, so anyway, in the end of your clip, you should get something pretty much like this. And yeah, so thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope it gave you a better idea how to make um, Forest Lightning on After Effects. I hope to uh, see you guys watch my online series. So, see you guys later.